So it was kind of my sixth birth present to myself. To go to a war zone. <laughs> yeah, well, it made sense. I just, I, 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 I just come to see to be to be part of history. You know, to say that I was here when it all went um, a bit pear shaped. Uh, and it might be for a little bit of adrenaline rush, I don't know, but... If you stay, you've obviously, you're an ex-paratrooper, aren't you? I mean, is it, is it something that you would you would want to do or would you want to leave now when the Russians start to close in? I, I didn't intend to fight. And then I, I saw these wonderful people that I, that I really, really have, have got, I just really like them. Mm. And I thought, yeah, I, I, can, I can do it. Then you go, all like, yeah, a bit, a bit of gun ho and a bit of bravado comes into it all. Then you've got to start thinking about the language barrier, which is like, because it, it, I don't speak Russian or Ukraine, or I don't speak English very well, to be honest. So, uh, so uh, all those things against me, mm. well, I, don't, I don't think a cop is going to fit in very well anywhere in the UK, yet alone in Eastern Europe. No, I wouldn't want to use my skills over it. What I would want to use is my, my humanitarian part of me, um, I don't know if you saw the there's some some photographs, I don't know, actually video footage, I don't know, of yesterday afternoon when they was trying to get onto trains um, at Kiev station. All of a sudden, this has happened. The doors have opened, women, children only. So now you've got families being pulled apart, and um, it was it was emotional because I was and I, I didn't want to film it, and I'm trying to get back because I. I am not worthy of a place on this train. Mm. Okay, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a Ukrainian family. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not a woman or a child, and I'm not even Ukrainian. So let these people go to their families wherever they are, and I'll just. I'll come here by choice. I'm not going to expect anyone to get me out. I'm not going to ring up the consulate or the embassy or anybody. I came on myself. I'm going to get home by myself. Lots of people have left. The people that are remaining. Are they people that are literally willing to fight in a few days if Putin's soldiers get in? Or are they, they just want, don't want to leave their houses? I mean, what, what people are remaining, do you think? People being around, walking their dogs, they're walking arm in arm down the street, and no one's driving like madmen. They're, you know, when you go to the supermarket in the morning, I say supermarket, it's like a little spa to us, and you buy one loaf of bread. And you get a guy there buying a couple of rolls and there's two old ladies there and they're, they're squeezing they're squeezing the kiwi fruit and they're tut tatting about the quality of the kiwi fruit. And I'm thinking, get 30 of those in your bag and get them home. So this is what it's been like. What do you think about the people that have decided to stay, like President Zelensky, who, you know, got offered a lift out by the US and said he didn't want to ride, he wanted ammo. What do you, what do you think about those people left behind and do you worry about their safety. What you, got? you imagine, <laughs> you imagine <laughs> Boris Johnson in the combat jacket saying, "I'm going to fight to the." I mean, we lost our Boris Johnson. He was, it was <laughs> um, the, the guy's a legend, isn't he? The guy's a legend, and and and, um, and it's valued everybody. It's valued everybody, and oh, I just I just love this. I think it's really emotional now, right? Because these people, I think he's picked that hard as nails, tough. Tough, hard people. Pride, pride, the pride of their country. <sighs> They're not going to run away. I would much rather. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, I just feel for these people and, and, and they, they, they're going across the border to Poland and they need, they need help down there. So, without being morbid, one more dead fighter up here is an irrelevance. Mm -hmm. Where I could go down to the border and, and make a huge difference to a lot of people.